order to subscribe for my channel please click here or click here please like share and comments on my videos and channel thank you hey guys this is Gaurav welcome to SAS word service now this is our follow-up session for service now developer training before I start, let me quickly introduce myself. My name is Gaurav Tripathi. I have 9.5 years of experience in IT with 6.5 years of experience in ServiceNow Architect Solutions and Project Delivery. In this session, we are going to talk about Glide Record. In our previous sessions, we learned about client-side scripting, server-side scripting, business rules, client scripts, UI policy, and we also learned about Glide System which you can write on server side. Now, another API we have is Glide Record. Glide Record, it's a really important, I would say, uh, object in ServiceNow. And the reason behind it, because most of the developers, when they do coding in ServiceNow, they definitely utilize this API. So let's start with what exactly we are going to learn in this session. So what is glide record glide record methods and then example of glide record so i will show you some practical examples of glide record and all the methods practically in service now just like a small lab what is glide record so glide records is an object containing records it is used for database operations and the important part is it is executed on server side so if you remember that you can run the code on client side you can run the code on server side but if I talk about glide record it should be executed on server side now what is the use of glide record glide record is something similar like SQL command so as you play with the database with SQL when you uh, do some kind of fetch some records or update some records delete some records in that case because that you do directly on the database but as service now is a cloud uh, platform so you cannot access directly their databases not even any server because it's just a front-end application that's on cloud and you can just do whatever develop with the help of whatever APIs they have provided that is what you can do with service now now but you still need to play with records you still need to play with tables and you have to do some database operations like insert delete update or fetch some uh, data like query now how exactly you do that in that case you utilize glide record one of the important point of glide record is that it can also be executed on client side but it is avoided due to performance impact there are some methods on client script which which basically does the similar kind of work like we have glide record so they, they go into database and fetch the details for you for example g underscore form dot get reference if you remember i mentioned this method in my client script session but in this session, we will just talk about server side code and how exactly you can utilize Glide record and what kind of different methods you have or what kind of different database operations you can do with the help of Glide record. This is my personal developer instance. Now, the important point about uh, Glide record is syntax of Glide record. So, what I will do, I will go to business rule. So under system definition, I have business rule. I will create a new business rule demo for glide record. And you can select any table you want. Let's select incident table. Now I will just show you the example that how exactly you can use glide record. I'm not going to show you the example uh, for the exact use case 
because I will just write. I'm just utilizing business rule to just run the code. I can run this code in another functionality as well, like we have background script and we have fixed script. But I do not want to confuse my, my viewers and, and the people who are watching my video. So just to make it simple, I'm just running the code in business rule so that I can show you how exactly you can utilize Glide Racket. So I will just enable this advanced because we are going to use Glide Racket. So scripting has to be enabled. And I will do after update. So we will just take one record, one incident, and we will keep on updating it and we will see what results we are getting. So in that case, I will go to advanced. So let's start with the syntax of Glide Racket. Now, how exactly you do that? Now, for creating a Glide Racket, you have to create a Glide Racket object for that particular table. So in this case, what we will do, we will uh, try to populate number of incidents maybe. Well, let's let's do what exactly we can do. So let's start with creating a variable and you can start with where gr new glide record so everything is case sensitive so whatever we are writing you have to remember the exact syntax so we have variable gr now you can definitely change the name of the variables and you can also change the table name so when you create a glide record object you create a, uh, create a variable and then you put the table name here after glide record so what i will do i will put incident now i am just hitting the incident table as of now now i want to query it but before querying it i want to put some conditions that what kind of data i need so in that case what he can do gr dot so when you will type gr dot it will give you the methods which you can utilize and the common method which we have for glide record is add query so this is the common method we have for glide record so here i can put some conditions let's take an example that state comma means state equal to maybe let's take one and then i have gr dot now i have put in the condition now i will execute this query basically and how exactly i will do that so it will check the condition and then it will do a query And I will tell you what things will not change for your glide record what will be static or what has to be there every time so in that case we have this where gr equal to glide record then we have add query and they have this is like giving the query so it's gr dot query now I will process the records so what exactly I want to do do I want to pin print these records what exactly I want to do so in that case what you will do you will do if now here is the important thing as of now you can see i am typing if but if if you will type just if then it will show you only one record but here if i will type while so the general syntax of glide record is with while but if you just want to fetch just one record and that will be the random record but with the condition mentioned here so in that case what i will do I will go for next record so I will not do while because it will fetch all the records whose states are one so I'm not doing that right now so I will do if gr dot next so if it's next that means if I get any record whose state is one at least one record what should I do so I will do gs dot add info message and here I can put the message like the incident number and here what i can do i will do plus gr dot 
Now, once you have queried, you have touched the database. Now, whatever record you are, it, it is giving you back that you can get the details of that particular record. You can print that. So here I can do gr dot number. And I'm going to save this. So first I will minimize this. I will go when to run. It's on after update and like whenever I will update it, it should show that message. So I will save this. So it is saved. I will go to my incident form and I will open any incident. Let's take an example of this one. So if I just save it for now, when I'm saving this, you can see that it says incident number. Now it's not a similar number. It is just picking up the random record, random record from our incident table that whomsoever there is the state one and it will fetch that record and pulling up the number. That's the reason we did gr dot number and it is showing right here. So that is how you, you work with Glide record. And this is the basically syntax. Now I will explain you a little bit more. So if I go to my script again, so this is my script. I will make it big screen. So now let's start with this. Now this one is you are creating an object basically to store rows from that table. That is what you are doing here. Every time you want to play with the tables, you have to start with this particular line. So you have to create a glide record object to perform all these queries. So the next thing is your condition. Now this one, or you can also add more condition. This is something condition, adding condition. Now, this is just one condition as of now. Now you can also add one more condition if you want. And that can be, just go for the next line. You can do gr dot add query. And you can also see it says name or the value. That's what you have to put. So I can pull, put any field I want. So maybe let's take an example that I can take maybe short description. Short description. So wherever I have short description as test, it will again put uh, basically pull one record, but this time I'm making it while. Let's see what exactly you get in info message. So I'm putting the semicolon and I am saving this. When I'm saving this, now I will put something here and save this. Uh, you can see we have this 4, 3. That is what it has. And if I will check here, and if I go to your incident So I do have this test. So there's, there's only one record which has this short description. So basically it is not contains the exact short description which we mentioned in the query. And that's how it queries. So if I go to my script again. So here, so this is the query. So we are just building the query and putting the conditions here. After that, when you are done with the conditions, you do and execute the query here. So whenever you are done with the conditions, now you want to hit and query the uh, table, which you have mentioned at the top, then you will do gr.query. Now it can also be different 
as I mentioned, the variable name can be different and you can't have in the same scripting, you can't declare same variable. So this screen will automatically give you some errors that, hey, you cannot you use a new variable because it, it was already been declared. So you, uh, so you have to use a new variable rather than the old variable, which is already declared. Then in that case, then we have while gr.next. That means what exactly it checks. Basically, it processes the return records. That means if whatever record I'm getting, and then we'll check, do I have a record? It says gr.next. It will loop. And we have while loop. So it will keep on looping till you're done with all the incident number you have as per the query you have mentioned here. So it will check each and everything and whatever activity you want to do. And that's how Glide record is utilized. So, for example, you want to fetch some records and you want to check if these are the records in the table, then do this. That is how you utilize Glide record. Now, this is and condition, as you can see. So it says state is equal to one and short description is equal to test. Now, what about our condition? So in that case, we will remove this and I will do one thing. I will do where add or equal to gr.this. I will put here add or dot. Now you can see we are getting add condition or we are also getting add or condition. So if I select this one, press enter, here I will put or condition. Or can be, that will again be state, for example, state, comma, and let's take, we have six, and I have seven. That means closed and resolved, both. Now I am fetching the records. And what we will do, we will also type gr.state. We will also type their state. So we have gr.state get display value. So if I type here and I save here, So it's saved and if I go to my incident and just try to save it again. You can see we have closed, resolved or closed, but we don't have any resolved one and that's the reason it is not showing you in the list, but it is showing you all the closed incidents we have in our incident table. That is how you put or condition. Now, another best example of Glide record is encoded query. And I would say that's a really strong uh, method we have for Glide record. Now, when exactly this Glide record is used? So let's take a look. So in that case, what exactly you need to do? Let's go to your incident list. Now you might get some uh, requirement from your customer or for your client that you have that filter. So what exactly we have is encoded query and how exactly we use it. So for example, I put like mm, color is show matching. So now we have all the incidents from Damien and I will put only in progress. So I will do show matching again. So now I have incident from Damien and state in progress and active is true. That is what we have. What I will do, I will right click on here and I will copy this query. And this is what you utilize in encoded query of client record. So I copy this query and I go back to my code.
So here's my code. And what I will do, I will just make them comment. And here I will do gr dot add encoded query. This is the method we have. We will put here the same query which we copied over there. So we have copied this query and just pasted it here. Now I am going to save this. You will see some difference. So if you remember, we got two records over there in our list when we queried or when we put the filter condition on the list. You should get similar results right here as well. So let's go to our incident and I will cross this. And now I will save this. You can see we just have two incidents, 41 and 29. They just ran the query and we got the results as per the condition, as per the encoded query we mentioned. So this is the utilization of encoded query. So if your customer comes with any requirement where you can get that requirement with the help of filter, and then it's really easy to, to try to find out different operators. Because if you remember, I put state, comma, then one. Now, there, there might be a lot of queries you have. So rather than putting up or finding it out, all the op operators and, and uh, creating a custom query, you can just utilize encoded query, and then it would work without any issue. You can also get the single record without add query. So in order to do that, Let's go to your script we have here. Make it bigger screen. Let's make it as comment. Now, in order to get the single record, what you can do, you don't need this query. I will also make it as a comment. I can just do gr dot get. And if I do get, it says defines a glide record based on the specified expression of name equal to value. So if I do this and I do current dot society. So the current record which I will update, I will get the number here. So let's try if it's working and I do not need this. So I can just remove this and I can put this line like this and save this. I will go to my incident, cross this. I will try to save something. Now it should print our this number. So I'm saving the record. Yes, we got the state. And we got the same number. So as you can see, we, we did not do any kind of query. And without querying using uh, dot query and add query, we still got the number. Table was still able to fetch the record from the table. So the get is only used when you want to fetch single record. And in that name value, basically, we, we mentioned about that dot get. Basically, you have to put the sys ID. That's what you have to mention over there. And when you will uh, put the sys ID, it will automatically fetch the data for you and show whatever fields you want to fetch for that particular record. Now, with the help of Glide record, you can also do counting of the records. So, in that case, you will go back to your business rule, make it bigger and we will uncomment this and I will continue with this and we will make this as a comment here I will do while uh, gr dot next and curly braces again and now I have to print the row count. Now, how exactly I can do that? In that case, what you can do where count are as rows, it's gr dot, and I can do get 
row count now this will give you the row count and here I can mention row count count R and I am saving this so if you remember we had two records so let's see what exactly we get I am just saving here so we get row count equal to two now why we're getting this two times because it has two records so the iteration is two times and that's the reason you are getting this in this case you can also get the number of records in that particular table you have with the condition you have mentioned you can also fetch the overall count so let's do that in that case I will change the query a little bit so I will do like this and I will just do the query that's it all the whatever incidents we have let's let's try to uh, check the count in that case I don't need this uh, complete so I will make it as a comment and here I will do gs dot add info message the row count is and I can type count R so it will add this and I can just save this now it will query all the records and show me the row count so in that case because we don't have any kind of iteration here no loop it will just query and show me the numbers that's it that's what it will do so I will go to my incident cancel this message try to save something so that my business rule can run you can see we have row count as 96 now in that case if I just do all you can see we have the right number so it gave me the right count whatever I queried on incident table now in order to do aggregation now this is something like aggregation like you are doing a count of incidents yes you are counting the in number of incidents in that case there's another way to count and do the aggregation so basically whenever you have to just aggregate or count the number of records in that case you should not or you should avoid basically glide record because service now has create another object that is glide aggregate object basically it does the similar thing but it just uh, does that activity just for accounting so it, it it will save the performance of the system so rather than doing the glide record you can utilize glide aggregate and how exactly you can do that let me show you that so you will go here now I will make the comment from here I will make every line as comment so that you can understand so I will write I will start from here so for aggregation basically what I will do I will again create a G G just a variable syntax is quite similar not quite I think it's it's almost similar so we will type this glide aggregate we will put the table name incident so I will show you the similar thing which we did with get row count so I have this so and that's the reason I am showing you this particular object because as I mentioned whenever you have to do any kind of scripting which needs to count the number of records do not use glide record just go with glide aggregate 
if you are already doing glide record in that case you need some count then you can definitely utilize that gr dot get row count but if you are just doing some aggregations in that case do not use glide record because this this is much better than glide record it's all about performance so here i will do a g g dot i will do a query you can also put the conditions but we are not putting the uh, conditions here and i will do a g g dot get aggregate this is what i will get but i can save this particular value somewhere and that would be vr count records so i will do agg dot get aggregate and here what exactly it should aggregate that that is the most important thing so i will do one thing before that we need to use where agg dot add aggregate this is the important one so i will do dot add so it is not automatically coming so in that case i will remove this one let's see if 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 it comes and the reason it is not coming because we have put in where so you can't declare it again so agg you have add aggregate and here you can put count and here i can do agg dot query so it, then you can just declare another variable maybe it's count r and that is zero now we will do some iteration and that will just checking of the record so we will do agg dot we have next now this will count the records and here what i will do i will do count r equal to agg dot get aggregate and here i can put count now after that i can do add info message the number of records we have in incident table and i will do plus count r and i will save this so i will open the incident let's open this one and i will save now you can see we have similar count as you did get row count we got the similar count here as well but just the syntax is different there we used glide record to get the row count here we got the number of records with the help of glide aggregate so as i mentioned earlier the best option to do the aggregation is glide aggregate so this is how you can utilize glide record in service now and write a business rule or server side code with the help of glide record if you want to fetch some records play with, uh, with the records and do some database operations so thanks for watching my video have a great day